Lung compliance refers to the ability of the lungs to stretch and expand during inhalation and return to their original shape during exhalation. It is a key physiological concept that describes how easily the lungs can be inflated, usually in terms of the change in lung volume per unit change in pressure. This video covers the medical definition and provides a brief overview of the topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. In general, higher lung compliance means the lungs can expand more easily with less pressure, whereas lower compliance indicates that greater effort is needed for the lungs to expand. Lung compliance is critical in understanding various respiratory diseases and conditions. For example, in restrictive lung diseases like pulmonary fibrosis, the lungs often exhibit reduced compliance, making it more difficult for the individual to breathe freely. Conversely, high lung compliance is seen in conditions like emphysema, where the lung tissue is too elastic, causing difficulty in exhalation. There are two primary types of lung compliance, static and dynamic. Static compliance means the lung's ability to expand and contract when there is no airflow, such as during a breath hold. Dynamic compliance, on the other hand, takes into account the resistance encountered during the actual movement of air in and out of the lungs and is thus measured during the process of breathing. Numerous factors affect lung compliance, such as age, body position, and diseases affecting the lung tissue or the chest wall. Age tends to reduce lung compliance due to a decrease in the elasticity of lung tissue. Conditions like pleural effusion, where fluid accumulates between the lungs and the chest wall, or a pneumothorax, where air leaks into the space between the lung and chest wall, can both also severely impact lung compliance. Clinically, lung compliance is often measured using spirometry or more advanced techniques like body plethysmography. These diagnostic tests are crucial for evaluating lung function and tailoring treatment strategies for respiratory conditions. Treatments may include medications to improve lung function, respiratory therapy, or even surgical interventions in severe cases. Understanding lung compliance is essential for the management of various respiratory conditions and for optimizing mechanical ventilation settings in critically ill patients. In a clinical setting, recognizing changes in lung compliance can serve as a valuable indicator of the disease's progression or the effectiveness of treatment, thus facilitating more informed medical decision-making. So as you can see, lung compliance is a central concept in respiratory care that describes the elasticity and expandability of the lungs. It is affected by a wide range of factors, including age, disease, and physiological conditions. Accurate measurement and understanding of lung compliance are crucial for the diagnosis, monitoring, and treatment of a variety of respiratory diseases. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.